on the garment when she hides. When she He's not getting up. Does anyone here know how to perform mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation? I do, of course. Yeah. Yes. That is absolutely way more people than I expected. To make sure we're practicing inclusion and not leaving anybody out, we're gonna have to take turns. Okay, I need homeless people, whores, and NBA young boy fans to start a line on my left. People who share ice cream with their dog, Charlie Sheen, and soccer moms on TikTok to form a line on my right. You getting in order by height or weight? Nope, lip moisture. I want the left line to line up from driest to wettest lips and the right line to line up from wettest to driest. Oh my God, my back. Oh, wait a minute, he's alive. Oh, I felt like the cast of the Parkers all gave me a hug at the same time. Who, who the fuck are y'all? Did y'all motherfuckers jump me? He won't return my calls. He, he leaves all my messages on red. I mean, even the nudes. The nudes? What that does to a bitch's self-esteem? You gotta be a certain kind of psycho to leave titties on red, bro. Y'all don't know how good y'all got it. You know the process I had to go through to send somebody I liked a picture of my titties back in the day? I had to start at the church. I had to go get the pastor to give me the blessing to take the picture. He had to run it through Jesus. Then I had to book the photographer. The photographer got an assistant. When I get the picture developed, the man who developing the picture got to see the picture of the titties. Then I mail it out. And through the postman, got to show all his friends. By the time it get to the person I'm sending it to, everybody done seen my titties. Good times. Was that real housewife? Oh, shit. The fuck you doing at my window? I really thought dudes watched that shit by mistake with their girl. You watching that shit this by yourself. This is a mistake. I'm just... Warming the TV up for my girl. She lost the remote. Stop lying. Scoot over. You got some snacks. Nigga, hey, what the fuck? Get out my house. We they showing two episodes back to back. You telling me you don't got no snacks? Hell yeah, I got snacks. But no. Oh, you just a rude ass bitch. I see what's going on here. No, the fuck you did. Now, I am not rude. I'm hospitable as fuck. If you would have called before you came, you would have fucking found that out. You would have had a nice little snack layout. Some rotel, some wings, or now a little snack tray, some vegetables, celery, carrots, and shit. Well, that sounds delightful. What kind of wings? Bitch, what the fuck you mean? What kind of wings? An assortment. Obviously, I'm not a savage. Wet and dry rub. Flavors as far as the eye can fucking see. Well, you know what? Shut the fuck up and let me tell your bitch ass something. That sounds fucking delicious. Huh? What? All right, I'm here. The fuck do you want? Who's this? Who am I, bitch? Who the fuck are you? This is my apartment. Whatever. Hey, what do you want? Can you tell your Ethan Hawke vampire bat looking ass boyfriend to stop bothering me? But, well, maybe he'll leave you alone if you let me alone and stop being so jealous of what me and him have. Why the fuck would I be jealous of him having a bitch? Who sweats inside her mouth? What? That fuck you don't even make sense. That shit makes sense to you. Wait, who are you again? Who the fuck are y'all? Oh my god, bro, look, she live on the top floor. Okay? I ain't feel like crawling all the way up there. So we just used your apartment instead because it's more convenient. Nigga, I'm literally a floor down from her. Excuse me. Are there any snacks? Hungry as fuck. That's what I was saying. This rude Wait, motherfucker. Ain't got no curbs, sandwiches, and no cheese don't even got no Saratoga bottle just water. Goddamn you must be from Mott's Haven. You are getting one star. One star in what? On the squatter app. What is that? It's like Uber, but for people's houses. I'm not signed up for that. I put it on Airbnb. What the, what the fuck is that? I read them one star. Oh, they go by crowbars on that one. But, you know, I gave them three because, you know, like, it was short notice and you showed up with what your girlfriend. What the fuck? I'm not signed up for that shit either. What? Now, and remind me to give you a copy of your social security card. Bro, uh, get your ass out my house. Boy, I know you ain't just touched me in an assured manner. Nigga, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, everybody, form two lines. Look, that's what I'm going to do for you. Uh, I'm going to hook you up with this nice young man that be at the bingo and twerk night. Uh -uh, uh, I'm all right. I don't, don't interrupt me. Like I said, I'm going to introduce you. It's Bob and son. He be up there, and you know, he, he a good looking oh young man. Oh, my God, gross. Mr. Joseph, he is in his 50s. I'm not. You're not finna keep interrupting me. And I don't know when mid to late 50s became old. <laughs> Just because he ain't extra young, like 22 or some shit. I'm 22. Not that big of an age difference. He's old enough to be my father twice. I mean, you go call him daddy any damn way. You need some mature dick in your life anyway. Messing with all these young boys with, with tight ass pants and they dick and balls wrapped around each other and compressed up to their thigh. They, they don't know how to act. They frustrated. You need some dick out of slacks. You know, dick have room to breathe. Dick don't even know what balls are because it's never been near. It's never met. They just, just swinging. I don't care what nobody say. Ruben Stutter and Rod Wave are the same person. Oh shit, here goes on that floor again. Why are you trying to reenact scenes from Baby Boy, Eddie? Because Melvin was scary on there. Van Rame's character? No, he was not. Yes, he was. The whole guns and butter speech? Now, how in the fuck is that supposed to be scary? Okay, well, what about the scene where he's cooking eggs with his dick right next to the fryer? All right, pan? so which perspective am I looking at that scene in? Am I his dick or am I somebody about to eat the eggs? What? If I'm his dick, 
then you know I gotta look at it from that perspective. If I'm about to eat the eggs, then I gotta look at it from that perspective to figure out which one is scary. Is dick. I mean, I to be honest, that's the scariest thing to be in the scene because I mean, it's in the most dangerous. It's near a frying pan. Imagine your dick getting singed by saying, a frying pan. You went straight to be in his dick. Why not just be him? I mean, and his you know dick what? is attached to him. It's He'll because it's the pain. Shut the fuck up. I gotta You're explain myself weird, to you. Bro. I'm weird, but you studying baby boy for I'm battle? I'm staying at a hotel right now. BT is the only station there. Oh they my have. god, bro. That it's makes... like up next, baby boy, followed by baby boy after baby boy. Yeah, that's all you about to see. They might as well change their name to BBET. Baby Hell boy no. entertainment that's television. Funny as fuck. That is funny, right? I'm actually working on a set. I need like 14 more minutes. What's your name, man?